In this video, we are going to discuss projections of a pentagonal prism with the condition axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP. The problem is, draw the projections of a pentagonal prism of base side 25 mm and axis 50 mm, resting on one of its rectangular faces on the HP with the axis inclined at 45 degree to VP. In this problem, the pentagonal prism is resting on the ground or HP with its rectangular face and axis inclined to VP. Since the prism is lying on the ground with its rectangular face, that particular rectangular face is parallel to HP. So, the axis also will be parallel to HP. Since the axis is inclined to VP, the answer will have two stages. Initially, we will assume that the axis is perpendicular to VP. So the base of the prism will be seen in the elevation. Prism is lying on the ground with its rectangular face. So one of the base edge, which is a part of this rectangular face, should be on the ground or HP. After drawing the XY line, construct a pentagon with one of its base edges on the XY line. Name the rear base corners as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash and the front base corners as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash. For finding the center of the base, join the midpoint of any one of the base edge to the opposite corner. Draw a similar line to another base edge and its opposite corner. Intersection point of these two lines is the center of the pentagon. Project it to the plan and draw the axis. Mark the length of the axis of the prism 50 mm. Project all the base corners from the elevation. The longer edges 3C 4D and 5E are visible in the plan. The bases which are perpendicular to HP are visible as straight lines in the plan. The longer edges 1A and 2B which are as a part of the rectangular face on which the object is resting on the ground are invisible. Name the points accordingly. Now the object is to be tilted as per the inclination of the axis with respect to VP. So the second stage plan is similar to that of the first stage plan but is tilted for 45 degrees. Axis and longer edges of a prisms are parallel. So the axis inclination can be taken even on the longer edge also. A 45 degree line is drawn from XY line. Measure and mark the length of the longer edge 3C on this line. Based on this line, reconstruct the second stage plan. Mark the corresponding points on it. The axis line coincides with the longer edge 4D. So the edge 4D can be extended up to the XY line. Now the axis also will, will be giving you the same inclination 45 degrees. Next for drawing the second stage elevation or final elevation, project all the points of the plan above the XY line. Project all the corners of the pentagon from the first stage elevation. Trace and locate the corresponding intersection of points.
here the front base is fully visible so draw edges a dash b dash b dash c dash c dash d dash d dash e dash and e dash a dash as dark edges rear base is partially visible edges 4 dash 5 dash and 5 dash 1 dash are visible edges 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash 3 dash are invisible hence should be drawn as dashed lines edge 1 dash 2 dash is on the ground as part of the rectangular face rectangular face 1 dash 2 dash a dash b dash can be seen as a line on the xy line longer edges 5 dash e dash and 4 dash d dash are visible hence should be drawn dark longer edge 3 dash c dash is is invisible hence should be drawn as dashed lines you may notice that in a small region this invisible edge 3 dash c dash is overlapping with the visible edge 5 dash e dash in that overlapping portion preference should be given always for the visible edges so only the remaining portion is to be drawn dotted there is a projection of pentagonal prism resting on the ground with its rectangular face and axis inclined vp is drawn